Now that you have created your initial web page, you have to get it loaded onto your web server to be able to view it on the internet. So in Firefox, you should have created a shortcut to Fire FTP. If you click on that, you'll have to find your directory and put it on the left hand side. You can see that I have mine in a WebStorms project folder. WebStorm is the other development environment that I use and I have all of these files which I will ultimately upload. I'm going to connect but the first time you connect it's going to bring up your account manager and you're going to have to set up your account. You should name it Web105 and your host should be your first initial and your last name dot mccdgm.net. Your login should be your first initial and your last name and then your password. And if it works, when you hit connect, you'll see your file structure on the web side. Now there's many th file folders on the web. We will exclusively be working in the public underscore HTML folder. That's the folder that appears on the web. I already have my index page, which is my default page. You can see I've got the 2015-2016 folder. You won't have that or need that. That's my previous class. Then I have the private and Winchester folders that we created in the last exercise on the server. What I want to do today is upload everything in my initial folder. You'll notice if I double click on it, there are two files inside that folder. To move it over, I can just click and drag that folder over to this side and that will upload it. It'll take it a minute. You can see it's working and then you'll see that I have the initial folder on the web server. To find that folder out on the web, I would go into web105. You'd go into your first initial, your last name, .mccdgm.net and then you'd have to put in the directory name, which was initial and if you named it index that comes up automatically as long as it's indexed with a lowercase i and you'll see that if I change that to index.html it's exactly the same file. Now working on your code going forward, I don't grade on code quality on this one, but in Firefox if you view the page source if you have any errors they'll turn red. Luckily I don't have any errors here that is something that you should check because on future assignments I'll be grading for code quality and I will take off points if I find errors and this is how I check them. I check them in Firefox so you should use the same tool that I do. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this URL and hand it in for your first assignment.